Alright, this is Grade 2, Module 1, Lesson 3, where we're going to be making 10s in order to add within 20. So all the stuff that we were doing in terms of uh, number pairs that added up to equal 10, like 6 plus 4 and 7 plus 3, etc., we're going to make use of that to add some bigger problems. For example, on this problem on the left here, uh, we have 9 plus 4, all right? And we can see that if we took this guy and moved him over here, and this guy's now gone, he got moved over, it suddenly becomes, it becomes 9 plus an extra 1, plus the three left over on the right. Now, I'm going to erase that but because I'm going to write it in a slightly different way. It makes it, so we took the nine, and then the four became a one plus a three. And these, the nine plus the one, they added together to give us 10 plus three, which is 13, all right? And so this idea of taking the 4 and breaking it apart so that we can make a, a pair of numbers that equal 10. That's the goal. Uh, on our right, we've got 9 plus 5. Now that 5 can be broken up to 1 plus 4. And so now we have 9 plus 1. That gives us 10 plus 4, that gives us 14. Visually, what does that look like? Well, what that looks like is this guy right here got moved over here, making 10. So here's our 10, and now we have a 4 over here, so 10 plus 4, and that's exactly what we have here. 10 plus 4 is 14. So that's essentially what we're doing. So let's put it to practice with a word problem. So in our word problem, Jennifer has nine markers at school and six at home. Orlando has seven markers at school and eight at home. First question, how many markers does Jennifer have? So Jennifer, we are going to be adding nine plus six. But let's use this, uh, this concept of making a ten. So I know that if I take the six and I turn it into a one plus five, now I can add the 9 plus the 1, that gives us 10 plus 5, and that gives us 15 total. So Jennifer has 15 uh, markers, and let's do Orlando. Orlando has 7 markers and 8 markers. Now I know that that 7, in order to turn it into a 10, I need a 3. So I'm going to take the 8 and break it up into 3 plus 5. And so that gives us right here, there's our 10. So that gives us 10 plus 5, and that's 15. And oh, so Jennifer has 15 markers. And Orlando also has 15 markers. So they're tied, aren't they? And that is how we use um, making 10 to add within 20.